I say this is year six division, looking at the expanded written method, this time with a remainder. So our example this time is 432 divided by 15. So we set up the division as before, 432 divided by 15 with the divisor on the left. My first question is, how many 15s in 432? Well, I know that 10 lots of 15 makes 150. Therefore, if I double that, 20 lots of 15, that will be 300. So I'm quite close to 432. So I'm going to record 300 underneath. And just as a reminder, put 20 multiplied by 15 on the side. Now I'm going to find the difference between 432 and 300 by carrying out a column subtraction. 2 subtract 0 is 2, 3 subtract 0 is 3, and 4 subtract 3 is 1. That confirms I have 20 multiplied by 15. So I'm going to record my 2 in the tens column to denote 20. My next question is how many 15s in 132? Well, I know that 15 doubled will be 30. If I double that again, that gives me 60, and that will be four lots of 15. And if I double that again, that will give me 120, which is eight lots of 15. So I record 120 underneath, and at the side, eight multiplied by 15. Before I find the difference this time, I'm gonna record the eight in the units column, and then find the difference between 132 and 120 by another column subtraction. 2 subtract 0 is 2, 3 subtract 2 is 1. So I have a remainder of 12. I know that 15 doesn't go into 12, so I'm going to record my remainder at the top, and it provides me with the answer 28 remainder 12. Now in year six, we would ask the children to record that as a fraction. So we would have 28, and then the divisor becomes the denominator. So 15, and the remainder becomes the numerator. So it becomes 28 and 12 15. Moving on in year six, we would ask the children then to record that as a decimal fraction, which would be an answer of 